Welcome to my kitchen. Guess what we're making today? Ice cream sandwiches. Yes, please. Okay, so what we're going to start with is one can of full fat coconut milk. You're gonna pour that into your bowl and um, today I'm going to make a vanilla cake part and then we're going to fill it with some homemade strawberry ice cream. Um, so we're gonna do one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then we're gonna do one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and then we've got our vanilla cake mix here. Uh, we're going to pour that whole thing. I'm just gonna move these bottles out of the way because you all know how expensive that vanilla extract is, and we do not want to spill that. Okay. So we'll just, we're just gonna add the whole bag here. And then you can decide if you wanna do the vanilla and you can also do the chocolate and you would just use the chocolate cake mix to make them. And then you, can, you don't have to make the homemade um, ice cream, of course, but you could just buy uh, your favorite brand at the grocery store as well. There's a new brand, Natamu, I think it is. Um, they have a chocolate. Um, I'm not like the biggest ice cream person, but I had that not too long ago, and yeah, I think I'm a really big fan now. All right, so for the vanilla cake mix, you just add those, those three or four ingredients. Just give it a good mix. And I have a parchment paper lined tray here. And what we're going to do, this is like, this is actually the same way that we make our um, whoopie pies. Uh, so I have a little scoop. So they're gonna be kind of mini um, ice cream sandwiches. And I'm just gonna put them on the tray here. So I think I could fit 12 on here, which will make six sandwiches, because you want a top and a bottom. And so we're gonna fill this with the, the strawberry, but you could fill it with, oh my goodness, all sorts of, you could do like a lemon sorbet, chocolate, you could do just a vanilla. I mean, really, any, fav any of your favorite flavors. Uh, even a pineapple would be fantastic. Okay. So that is our sandwich part. I'm gonna pop these in the oven 350 degrees for 10 minutes. Um, once we take them out, we're gonna let them cool. Um, but while all of that is happening, I'm gonna show you how to make some ice cream at home. I am making homemade ice cream the easy way. So what we have here is about one cup of full fat coconut milk. And this is the coconut milk that you get from a can. Um, and then we're gonna do two tablespoons of maple syrup. You could also do like a coconut sugar if you have that too. And then I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then I have frozen strawberries. And that is going to be a quick and easy way to make homemade ice cream. Dairy free, gluten free, a lot of stuff free, right? Okay, so I've got uh, one cup, one hefty cup <laughs> of frozen strawberries and I'm gonna add it to the food processor. And then I'm gonna get, add in one more cup and you just kinda wanna eyeball, um, get it started and then kinda eyeball if you need to add more liquid or more strawberries. And these are going to be for our um, ice cream sandwiches. So I'm gonna get this guy started. And you just wanna give it a pulse because the, the strawberries are so frozen. You can also do this with like frozen bananas, cherries, Let it go and grind up all of the strawberries. There. 
is our ice cream. I'm, I, I probably need to try it too, right? Mm. It's perfect. Um, so we're, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait for the ice cream sandwiches or the sandwich part of the ice cream sammies to come out of the oven and then let those cool and build some sandwiches. So, so our ice cream sandwiches are now ready to be assembled. We used our vanilla cake mix to make the cake part and we have a homemade strawberry ice cream. Um, it's just a very simple strawberries, coconut milk, vanilla extract, and maple syrup. Um, again, you can always use the store-bought ice cream, um, but I just think it's great to be able to make it at home as well. So, just going to use the uh, ice cream scoop that I have. That might be a little, <laughs> that might be a little too much ice cream. I mean, I don't know. Who am I kidding, right? I'm just going to add another one, and I have this nice platter here. So what I'm going to do is kind of work quickly and get these built, and then I'm going to get them back in the freezer to really uh, solidify and, and freeze up. Um, you can also, if you don't, don't want to just leave them on the platter, you could wrap them with some plastic wrap um, so they're all individually wrapped and ready to go. I know that our kids are going to go bonkers when they realize that I made ice cream sandwiches. So um, you can make so many different flavors with this. Uh, I just love this strawberry ice cream um, and I thought it would be fun uh, for a summertime treat. All right, last one. And then I have some extra ice cream to eat. I think the kids need to go to bed so I can sit in front of the TV with my hubby and eat some ice cream sandwiches. They don't have, they don't even have to know that we made these. <laughs> All right, friends. So there you go. Ice cream sandwiches. They're free from gluten. They are top eight free except for coconut and they're vegan. So uh, check out our full line of mixes on our website and much love. Happy baking and have a wonderful night. Bye friends. <laughs>